What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Xbox One Scorpio and the Universal Windows platform. This is Microsoft's new foray into gaming which bridges the gap between the Xbox One, Windows 10 PCs, and the inevitable Xbox One Scorpio. This is Microsoft's big push. They want to move this thing out and they want to make it seamless. And it appears that the Xbox One Scorpio is going to be a big part of that. I will drop a link in the description. Xbox Scorpio will play Universal Windows platform games and even help developers make them. Microsoft is looking to turn its upcoming Xbox Scorpio into a keystone of its Universal Windows platform system. Having it play those games at up to 4K resolutions natively. This means no more console exclusives for Microsoft, as any game developed for the Universal Windows platform will work on Windows 10 PCs, Scorpio, and the Xbox One without much difficulty. Microsoft's UWP system has been a major drive for a while now, with the idea being that it creates a single ecosystem that spans consoles, PCs, mobile, and even the HoloLens augmented reality headsets. Scorpio will be a major component in that mix, as it will not only deliver monstrous power for console gaming, but also act as a development platform for games and experiences on other hardware too. This is because Scorpio is a clever piece of kit. As explained by Windows Central sources, Scorpio will be able to mimic the Xbox One on a hardware level, so developing games on Scorpio will make it incredibly easy to test those games on the Xbox One too. We're told that the system has an internal code name, Project Helix. While great news for developers, this also means that we may finally see an end to poor quality PC ports. By bringing the Scorpio up to the purportedly 6 teraflops level, it is just as capable as many decent gaming systems. So games developed for either should work fine on either one. Even a couple years down the road when PC hardware has advanced beyond it again, the fact that Scorpio is built on the Universal Windows platform should mean that upgrading the visuals and frame rates for PC gamers will be much easier than before as well. Of course, releasing games through the Windows Store hasn't gone well in every instance. Microsoft may need to get people over that problematic stigma before the UWP platform is completely embraced, but with the way Scorpio is being positioned, that might be easier than we have expected. It's also possible that Microsoft doesn't try and target the PC gaming space as much as it tries to augment the Xbox market with additional PC play features. If it tries to take this fight to Steam to push people to its store instead, it will definitely need to step up its game. I like it, I like it, I love it, I think this is a great idea. Uh, I don't know exactly how far they're going to push though. If this Universal Windows platform is what Microsoft really sees as a vision for their Xbox, for Windows 10, for mobile devices, I commend them for it. You know, I, I, I enjoy seeing companies trying something new, Nintendo's trying something new. I don't know what PlayStation's doing, but Microsoft definitely is when it comes to hardware and power. Um, but it's a double-edged sword, right? Because you want to reward companies that are going out of their way to innovate and change the way that we play games. I think that a universal Windows platform is awesome. I think that the ability to take a game and play it on your PC and seamlessly play it on your Xbox One and your Scorpio is a great idea. But when you start to marry those, those two genres together, it blurs the line. And suddenly some gamers, not all, some gamers will feel like their console isn't a console anymore. They're going to feel like it's just a box. It's just a box that is a PC. And it takes away the exclusivity of what consoles used to be. If you guys are old as I am, then you might remember the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, the Sega Dreamcast. These things were different because the games on them couldn't be played anywhere else. They were exclusive to a console, and if you wanted to buy into that ecosystem, you had to have that console to play the game. Some people still have those strong convictions when it comes to console gameplay. I'm one of those people. I do enjoy the fact that some games on certain consoles are only available on those consoles. It strengthens that market and makes that console more viable and it makes it more competitive. That's the only downside of a universal Windows platform is that when you marry everything together, certain things become obsolete. And I don't want that to happen with Microsoft. I don't want it to happen with the Xbox. I don't want it to happen with anything that they're trying to do. But ultimately, if every Xbox game came to PC, people would stop buying Xboxes. It's just the way it is. PCs are more powerful, there are more options on PC, and so if this unified Windows platform releases every game on PC and on Xbox and on Xbox One, 
more and more people are going to have less and less of a reason to buy the Xbox. I think the Scorpio is going to sell phenomenally well. I think if they price it well, people are going to buy it like crazy, but I don't want to see them shoot themselves in the foot because right now it appears that for the first time this generation, Microsoft is really about to kick some ass. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. The Universal Windows platform it sounds like a great idea. I really do think it's a great idea. But ultimately, I think that it could end up coming back to hurt Microsoft in the end. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm dying to hear your thoughts on this. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please give a thumbs up. It shows support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can always support my channel by visiting BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.